Okay, let me turn this camera around. Woo, there we go. Sorry about that. I was facing that way around. I'm going to face me. Not that way. Hey, everyone. Welcome to my live stream. I'm Inks Law 123's Wacky World. Um, we are live here on YouTube. I'm going to use my T-shirt to rub uh, the camera of uh, my phone. Oh, I don't know what my hair is doing. I'm sorry about that. But there we go. Uh, it's a little bit dirty. There we go. Ooh. Is that any clearer? It's a bit clearer. Yeah, I had a shower and my hair is <laughs> what's this bit doing? Looks like something about Mary. Look at that. That's just that was just standing right up there. Um, oh, it's still doing it. Go down. Hey, it's rainy. How you doing? Hope you're good. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a live stream. I, I said this morning uh, I might do one, I might not. Um, but obviously I decided to do one, hence. I'm here. Let me just organise this phone holder better. Um, yeah, so I had a shower, hence my hair is still really wet and I don't know what's happened to it. Um, it's wild hair. Looks like I've got this massive, like, spam forehead. <laughs> oh, well. I'm sure the trolls will have plenty of fun with my big forehead in the comments. Uh, anyway... So, how's everyone doing? Hope you're good. Um, Casey Allen, hello to you. I don't know if this is a bad idea or a good idea doing the stream at this kind of time. Uh, I never know if people are, you know, up for a show or if they're not up for watching a show, if they're busy uh, or if they're asleep or if they're out. I don't know. But, you know, it just you take a chance sometimes. Uh, so, in this live stream, um, I'm going to actually be doing an ASMR version of this, but on my other channel. Minxlaw123, ASMR, check it out. Um, but this is like the, the vlog channel version, so I don't have to tap on stuff. I don't need to whisper. Uh, Bookish Justine is here, my bookworm buddy. How are you doing, Bookish, uh, Bookish Justine? What book are you currently reading, Justine? Let me know. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's doing good. If you are watching, uh, don't be shy. Come say hi. Um, I know some people watch the live streams and they just like watching. They don't want to particularly chat away to me or anyone else, uh, which is completely fine. But some people, I think, do watch and they just they kind of want to say hi, but they get a little bit like, mm. so don't ever feel awkward, you know, or shy. Just come in, chat with each other. You know, I don't want to do this bit of hair. Look at it. It's, it's odd. It looks odd. Um, anyway, right. So in this live stream, um, which... As I say, I, I wasn't planning on doing, I said I might, I wasn't sure. But um, I'm just going to be showing you some of uh, my lipstick collection. Um, I have several uh, lipsticks I've had for years. And I know um, you shouldn't really keep lipsticks that long, should you? Lips, lip thick, I can't even say it, lipsticks, there we go. Um, you shouldn't keep them that long. You're probably supposed to change them in a few months. But I've had these, some of them, years, and it's really bad. I, I know, it's awful. But the, the way I look at it, like, they, they, they look good. You know, it must be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously some of them are new. They're not all like 20 years old. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I've had some of these lipsticks a long while, but um, they're fine. They do the job, right? And I've got three makeup bags. Uh, one makeup bag I have for like foundations, eyeshadows, stuff like that, um, blusher. The other makeup bag I have uh, purely for like my, my different makeup brushes. And this makeup bag right here, I have just for lipsticks, lip balms, lip uh, glosses, lip pencils, basically all lip products uh, is the best way of saying it. And I've got a lot. <laughs> I've got a lot. I'm reading Starfell by Dominique uh, Valentine, is that? It's got never more vibes. Oh, okay. I've not heard. Actually, I might have heard of Starfell. Hmm. I don't know. Is it a young adult book? Is it perhaps? Um, I'm currently reading Date Me, Bryson Keller. If you've heard of that, it's really good, really sweet. If you look by the ingredients, there should be a little picture of a pot with a number on it. That's how many months they last. Oh, right, okay. I don't know. But anyway, I don't, you know, I don't see a problem with them. They're, they're fine. They do their job. They're, they're colourful. They go on my lips. A lot of them as well I don't use on myself. I use um, in ASMR videos. If I'm doing like a makeup role play and stuff. I'll just, you know, go like this to the camera and make out I'm applying the lipstick. So it, it's fine. Um, anyway, so if you enjoy watching the stream, which I hope you do, please click like. Um, really appreciate the big thumbs up. So get those thumbs working. Come on, come on. And please subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would be awesome. Um, come check me out on social media 
at minxlaura123 on Twitter and Instagram, minxlaura123. Um, and yeah, what else? <laughs> I don't know. I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm supposed to be talking about lipstick. Um, hey, sleeping artist Asmar is here. How are you doing, my lovely friend? And pink peony as well. Hello. By the way, sleeping artist Asmar is in uh, my newest Asmar group collab, which will go on on Monday. Um, I've got to set it all up tomorrow, doing like a premiere with it, um, put all the links in and stuff like that. But yeah, it's going to be on Monday. So thank you for being a part of uh, another group collab. I'm really happy whenever you say that you're going to be in them because you're lovely and I really, I love your work. So I'm really always excited when you say, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to join in. Um, I really like doing these like group, uh, ASMR group collabs. I just don't know what to do next. Like I'm running out of ideas. I've done the fast tapping collab or no tapping. It wasn't fast tapping, was it? It's just tapping collab. Um, I did obviously at the moment the scalp massage one. Um, I don't know, maybe a brush theme, a theme, th what? A brush through <laughs> a brush themed one, brush in the camera themed or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll think of it. But I do really enjoy doing the group collabs. It's fun to, uh, you know, have different people uh, participate and join in and, and just kind of, you know, work with other people that I've never worked with. Um, anyway, but yeah, go check out Minx Law One Two Three S, my my other YouTube channel. If you haven't already, I appreciate that. Uh, Sarah Wardy, is that Wardle? Sorry, not Wardy. Um, I think along with a little pot, if your makeup company has made it so you could write on the tube, but when you open the makeup, um, you would know exactly how long it had been open for. Yeah, I mean, look, as I say, I, I know I'm wrong in keeping these lipsticks. Some of them, as I say, are old and I, I should probably just throw them away. But as I say, I, I test them. If they feel all kind of dried up or they look horrible, they're like broken, then they go in the bin. But the way I look at it, if they look fine and they feel nice, then I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Anyway, right, so here is the makeup bag filled with lipsticks, lip gloss, lip pencils, lip products, basically. And I'm just going to kind of show you what I've got. Um, and I'm doing an ASMR version of this as well. So in this one, I won't have to tap. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I have got a lot. I've got a lot I've collected over the years. And um, the first one I'm going to show you is from Primark. Can you all see clearly? So it's nice and clear for you because uh, the light's a bit weird in this bedroom right now this is a really dark brown shiny metallic now i really like primark lipsticks uh, i think they're great and their nail polish is quite good as well hi georgia and hi rebecca how you doing um yeah i really like primark's lipsticks and um i was thinking in this live stream of doing a swatch you know like the swatches of the colors all over my arm but i, I just don't like doing that because then it takes me like bloody ages to get all the lipsticks off my arm and stuff and I scrub it and scrub it and I thought oh, no. so I'm just going to show you the colours <laughs> it's easier that way so it's like a really nice shiny dark brown but it is like really metallic and uh, it's a liquid lipstick and as I say Primark's lipsticks are, are pretty cool actually they're really cheap and they're good um makeup is so darn expensive to throw away taking a chance though oh I see what you mean yeah I, probably but you know but, you know, I'm a rebel. What can I say? Um, Bridie Grace. Hello, welcome to the stream. So I'm just going to pick um, lipsticks out here and show you. Uh, so these are two of my favourites. And um, one's called Gothic and one's called Ego, uh, for which both are connected to me on some level because I used to be a goth back in the day. I've still got the black hair. That's stayed with me. Um, and also I've got a bit of an ego. No, I haven't. I haven't actually. I don't think I've got an ego. Have I got an ego? A little bit, maybe, but not much, particularly. But anyway, these are W7 lipsticks. And oh my God, I love these. They are purple. And um, this is like the darker one. And this is the lighter purple. I oh, know, actually, they look really similar now. I oh, know, it's a bit lighter. Um, so yeah, this is the dark purple. This is the lighter purple. And uh, I, I absolutely love these. These I just I love purple lipstick and maybe that's a bit weird but weird is good as I always say um but yeah these are called mad about mats and uh, as I say they're W7 who I actually really like W7 makeup they've got some good stuff you know quite a cheapy brand but nice I think satisfactory as my life how you doing my friend hope you're good um you're awesome by the way i love your channel uh jx4b how you doing jen hope you're good uh, my what is my natural hair color um so my natural hair color is actually like an auburn auburn brown like really light auburn brown um 
like a, like a ready kind of tint to it, but I've been dyeing my hair for years now. Um, I've been lots of different hair colours over the years, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, for the last, I don't know, 10 years or more, I've been like dyeing my hair jet black. Uh, it does need a fresh dye. As you can see in lockdown, it's got quite long. The hair has actually got longer, which I love, um, but it's, it's quite grey up here. It needs a little hair dye. Anyway, so this is from Essence. This is called Vibrant Shock. Uh, Essence is, um, I think you can find it in Wilkinson's, Wilco's, we call it here in the UK. But uh, I don't know if they do Essence in any other shop, maybe online or something. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool, like a dark grey blue colour. See, when it comes to lipstick, right, I mainly wear the same colour, which is pink. Right, Pink's my colour, like a natural pink or bright pink. Um, but I do love different colours as well. And I, I like certain days, I like wearing certain colours. Um, and also if, like I'm doing an ASMR video or, or a vlog video and I want a bit of lipstick, I'll just go through the bag, see what I've got and uh, just choose different colours. But yeah, I, I go through a stage of having these kind of, you know, colours like this. Um, and then I, you know... Then I go back to just the normal boring pink again. <laughs> um, you will look like you've been smooching a Smurf. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. If you thought that was a Smurf because it was a bit grey blue. Wait till you see this bad boy. This is pure blue, baby. Um, hi, Ariana. How you doing? So this, I would say, is my most expensive lipstick I've ever purchased. <laughs> hi, Becca. How are you? Um, yeah, this is the most expensive lipstick I've ever bought, and it's uh, Balmain Paris. And I'm not kidding you. I, I mean, when it comes to makeup, I'm not one of those people who spends loads of money on makeup. I, I prefer to spend my money on books because I'm a book nerd. Um, I know some people really love their expensive lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes. I mean, every time, what is it, Jeffree Star, right? I mean, I don't watch his channel. It's not. I, I just find him really annoying. I know it's awful because everyone loves him, but I, I, just, I just find him really annoying. And as soon as a new palette comes out, I know about it because like loads of people that I follow on Twitter or Facebook, or whatever, or Instagram, will just have pictures of all these Jeffree Star palettes. And they pay like so much money, which, as I say, I don't care. Pay what they want. If they want it, they enjoy it. You know, that's all good. You know, I prefer spending money on books. So someone could say, why do you spend all that money on books? You know, so everyone's entitled to spend the money on what they want. So I never judge people. But for me personally, I would not spend loads of money on an eyeshadow palette where I could go Poundland or Boots and get one pretty similar colouring, a lot cheaper. Um, but there you go. Maybe, I don't know, they're obviously better quality and it's obviously you're paying for the name of it and stuff. So, But for me personally, when it comes to makeup, uh, what I'm trying to get at, <laughs> just rambling as ever, is I, I don't really like spending much on makeup. Like, I just find it, for me, I don't know, I just don't want to do it. Um, however... When it comes to certain products, I will spend a little bit more. And with this lipstick here, I can't remember how much this was, but I did pay uh, quite a lot of money for one lipstick. And it's um, it's called Rebellion. Rebellion. And uh, it was really difficult to get. I couldn't find it anywhere. Every time I would go and look for it in the shops, it would sell out within the day. And then I had to get it online. Um, and it still worked out expensive. By the way, hey to Harold's random videos. How you doing? And it's really ironic because I got it and I hardly wear it. <laughs> so as you can probably guess from the packaging, it is a very, very bright blue. Um, it looks kind of purple in this light, but it is bright blue. Um, there we go. And it, it smells nice. Oh, I don't know why, but even after I've had it, I don't know, a couple of years, right? And it still smells just as strong, like this smell of like candy or something, like sweets. Hmm. But it's, yeah, it's really, really a bright colour. Um, and I just don't really wear it. I went mad about it and then hardly wore it, <laughs> which is really ironic. But, you know, as I say, some of my makeup, I, I don't mind paying. Like my foundation, because it's actually going on my face, I don't mind paying a bit more for my foundation. Um, and if it's eye products, yeah, fair enough. But like lipsticks and stuff, like, I just, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Right, let's delve in here, get some more colours. Uh, this one I got from Poundland. It is, um, what is this brand? I have no idea what this is. Rouge Edition Aqua Lacquer. It's called Feeling Ready. Ha, ha, ha. Feeling Ready. There is a name. Oh, there we go. Bourgeois. I can even see it. And I've got my glasses on. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? <laughs> there is a name on it. 
very faintly right in there. So yeah, this is a bourgeois. Uh, it, it's a lipstick, lip glossy thing. Pink Penny says, I love yummy smelling lipsticks. There we go. Yeah, I, I really love lip balms and lip products when they smell really nice, um, especially the lip balms because you can just kind of lick your lips and they taste nice. Um, but yeah, I think red is one of those colors that I love. Um, I just think red is such a classic kind of lipstick color. Do you know what I mean? You can't go wrong with red. It's a very classic look. What I'm showing you here is loads of these. I have loads of um, lip pencils. Look at all these lip pencils. Now, as I say, luckily they're only cheapy ones, but, um, but I think I've got some Primark ones here and Poundland and stuff, but I've got lip liners, but I, I just don't wear them. Like, I really don't. <laughs> and I don't know why, because I think they would, they would make the lipstick look better because you kind of go around the shape, obviously, of your lips um, and it, makes it look better but I, I don't know because I, I buy them and then I try and match them up with the colors I've got and they just kind of look a bit of a different color to what anyway so I don't really wear them that much but I wonder if you can wear lip liners just on their own like does anyone else do that or maybe that's a stupid idea for example this one here this is a revolution one actually I like revolution it's like a dark oh it's sealed a dark plummy color as you can see um could I put that over my whole lip maybe or is that weird? Or would it feel dry? Because it's just a pencil. I don't know. But I, I need to, I need to actually start using these lip liners more because I've got loads of them. Um, this is brilliant. This I really recommend uh, to anyone who wants that really glossy, shiny lip. This uh, is my favourite, actually. Now, it's by W7. It's called Tinted Kiss. And it's a tinted, nourishing lip oil. So it's kind of like a lip gloss, obviously. That kind of shiny look. Um, I'll put it on now. You probably won't even see it. You'll be like, oh, it's really rubbish. Can't even see. <laughs> it's hard. I can't. I haven't got a mirror, so. I, uh, there you go. You can see it's starting to glisten. I only put a little bit on. It just, you know, especially when my lips are feeling quite dry and stuff. This, uh, this lip oil is lovely. I sit and put this on, and it just gives it a little shine. As you can see, look, it's quite glossy. <laughs> just feel like a fish if anyone joined the stream at that point that would look really weird me just going but yeah it's really glossy but it's yeah it's really natural and it's got really nice like taste as well um and it's not sticky yes yeah, some of the lip glosses i have are lovely but they make your lips so sticky and nathan bless him my fiance for those who don't know that are new to my channel he can't stand it when i kiss him with lip gloss um because it's just sticky He's next door. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out to him. Hello. Um, Do you hate it when I kiss you with lip gloss on? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He just doesn't like it. He doesn't like the feeling of the the sticky lip. Anyway, so moving on from that um, to some actual lip glosses here. <laughs> um, oh, there. Oh, yeah, this is one of my favourite ones ever. 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 Uh, this is from Primark and I remember going mad and buying loads of these. Um, these are so nice. So it's like a metallic colour, matte lipstick, I'm sorry, matte metallic. And it's this gorgeous, look at that. Can you see that? It's like a pinky, metallic-y, pinky, purpley, I don't know how to describe it, but it is lush. So nice. Um, and I remember just going mad for this. So I kept going in and just buying loads of them to keep in my makeup bag. This is just a little random, I don't know what this is, little gl glittery kind of shiny lip gloss. Yeah. Sometimes what I do, I put a normal lipstick colour on and then I just get a bit of lip gloss and kind of go over it and just give that colour like a little bit of a shine. All right, also I've got some mattes. I love wearing, these are from Primark as well. I love wearing matte lipstick. Uh, as much as I love that shiny glossy look, I also really like a nice matte look, like that kind of dry, um, not dry lips, like chapped lips, but do you know what I mean? So it doesn't look all shiny, it just looks kind of matte. Dry, matte. Anyway, um, but these are from Primark and they're so nice. This is like um, an orangey brown, maybe you'd call that. I don't know. But uh, it's, it's really nice and they stay on for ages and they also smell nice. Once again, that smelly lipstick thing. Mmm, it smells like chocolate or cocoa butter kind of smell. But um, yeah, Primark's lipstick, if you've not tried Primark's lipsticks, try them. 
do not be put off and think oh it's just primark they're cheap and nasty they're actually really nice and good quality right um got this one here which is a purple um mark so i think this was from avon if i remember rightly yeah liquid lipstick um from avon bright purple as you can see i do love the purple does anyone remember like getting the little avon book uh, one of our neighbors used to uh come around years ago and, and do avon and she'd knock on the door, it was like, I don't know, Friday night or Saturday night or something, and she'd have the little Avon book, and you'd go through it, and you'd get your order full, and you'd, you know, you'd wait for your delivery for like two weeks. I think they don't do that now. I think they mainly people do it online. Um, but it used to be really exciting. I used to get, like, mum used to get the book, and I used to sit there and, and click all the, like, click, sorry, write down all the little colours and stuff that I want. Um, but they did a range from Avon called Mark. And I had, I had a few of these different colours, but uh, yeah, they're quite good. They're okay. Right, this is an odd colour. Um, I find this an autumn colour. Uh, I don't know if anyone else would. Um, once again, it's from Essence. It's Vibrant Shock. And it is this lovely, well, I think it's lovely. You're going to probably, everyone's going to hate it. Uh, green colour, uh, which is really interesting. Maybe I'll put this on at the end, because I don't want to put it on now, because I haven't got a mirror. So I'll put it on at the end of the stream. Uh, but it's it's really cool. It's really unusual, um, and I like it. I, I don't know why, but I, I think it's like an autumn-y colour. just reminds me of all like the green trees of autumn. <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, Mel Bells, how you doing? I used the old Avon lip balm and the blue cap religiously when I was little. See, Avon. It's, it's, it's all about the Avon. I'll leave this one out so I remember to put it on at the end. Uh, I'm not going to show you all these, by the way, because we'll be here for three hours. Uh, you'll get bored, I'll get bored. This is not good for anyone. Uh, but I'll show you a few. Rimmel. Who likes Rimmel makeup? I don't mind Rimmel makeup. I've got a few different uh, Rimmel products. Now, this is my kind of classic colour that I go for. This is my, you know, wear any any time of day, whatever you're doing situation. Just a really nice pink. I like I like this kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, but it's just, well, this one is officially called Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. Oh. My phone vibrated then, sorry about that. But yeah, I like Rimmel stuff. I do some decent stuff. Um, just trying to oh now this this is cool. This is um a super lip gloss, not just a lip gloss, but a super lip gloss, right? And uh, it's a goldy colour. And what I do with this, I mean you can wear it on its own just as gold, which is fine, especially in the summer. I think gold looks really nice. Um, or what I do, I put a bright orange. Honestly, hear me out. A bright orange and then I put the gold over the top and kind of mix it in with my finger. So it's kind of like a, a goldy orange colour. Mm -hmm. And it I love it. It's really nice. It's really cheap. Like I paid $2.99, you can see on the sticker. Um, I just got it on eBay. But honestly, try orange mixed with gold and it, it's like this gorgeous, like glowing lip colour. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, you've never seen a green, green lipstick before. Me neither, until I got it. I, I was like, oh, another pink. This is from the whole kind of um, Avon stuff. Um, I'm trying to find different colours so that I can show you. Got more of those green ones. You can see when I like something, I, I get it a few times. Um, got another matte colour here from Primark. This is like a nude natural colour. See, these are nice colours. These kind of natural, you know, you just put it on. It looks like you've got something there, but it's not too like, in your face. And uh, once again, it's the matte. I do love the uh, the matte. I'm doing my tongue clicking. Sorry. I think I'm on the other channel. Um, now, these are cool. If you like in a little lip balm, um, I know everyone uses EOS, but they're so expensive, EOS, right? So I thought I'll get the equivalent um, of the W7 lip balms. And they look pretty much the same as an EOS um i got these in poundland like a little set of them there were three of them and they're really nice just nice little lip balms and they got that sonic egg shape like the old eos um lip balm does the job does the job okay um what's this one? Oh, this is um like a really dark brown i actually really like wearing dark brown uh, lipstick I think I got that from my mum because my mum always used to wear she doesn't really wear much makeup anymore but when she did it was always like dark brown lipstick dark eyeshadow like all brown 
Um, so maybe I got that from her, but I, I actually think brown is, is quite a nice lipstick color. Um, I love the egg shape, says Pink Peony. And Sleeping Eyes says, I still love that Avon lip balm. Lip balms are good. Um, oh, this is one of my favorites as well. This is uh, L'Oreal. And it's, oh, it's like purple, but it's not just purple. As you can see, there's like a shimmer, sparkly shimmer to it. And uh, it's, what's it called? I'm trying to look at the name. I'm Gorgeous Gloss Me 202. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is without a doubt one of my favourites. It's super, super like shiny and purple and glittery and oh, love this. Love this. This is just amazing colour. Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, here's the orange that I was saying about. So this is a bright orange colour. And I remember thinking, I don't know if orange will suit me. But I, I'd give it a go. I wore it in a ASMR video. Um, I did a collab with ASMR Alicia. Or Alicia. I always say her name wrong. I'm sorry. But anyway, I did a collab with her. And I wore this bright orange lipstick in it. And people were commenting saying, oh, I really like that girl's lipstick. And I really like your lipstick. So I'm thinking it kind of looked that bad. Because people were complimenting it. So, you know, yeah. It's a bit out there. It is very, very bright orange. But as I say, you can either wear it on its own. Or you can put... A bit of orange on, mix it with gold, and you get a nice warm summer glow on your lips. <laughs> um, if you had to round up, how many lipsticks do you think you have? I I don't know. I mean, it's like that game when you guess how many sweets there are in a jar. I mean, I, I don't know. Quite a lot. <laughs> um, I've got a grey lipstick. See, this is what I mean. I bought these a while ago, and now I'm just like... Mm. Uh, so Rimmel did like a range of um, really random colours and I just I was thinking, oh, that's pretty cool. But I don't know if I'd ever wear grey lipstick. It's just a bit weird. But I don't get rid of it because one day I might think, oh, you know what I really want? I want a grey lipstick. <laughs> and there it would be, right here. Um, Andre Pitts, Ohio native. How are you doing? Hope you're good. By the way, if everyone is watching, please give this stream a big thumbs up. Uh, and please make sure you are subscribed. I would most appreciate that. Right, I've got this Revolution one here. Uh, this is just one of those kind of natural nude colours. Um, just a kind of, you know, just a nice colour. Nothing too exciting, nothing to write home about. But, it, it, it you know, it's all right. It's okay. Um, I like Revolution. I think Revolution are a good brand. I've got some eyeshadows from them um, and different lipsticks and stuff. So I'm trying to find some different colours to show you. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's another one of these. Remember I went mad for from Primark. And another one. Loads of them. <laughs> oh, my. Does anyone else do that, though? Do they ever get a lipstick or any makeup product that you really like? And then just get loads of the same one. Or maybe clothes. I have this thing as well of like a, I don't know, if I find a pair of jeans or leggings that I like, I don't know. I'll go and buy like loads of them because then I know that I like them. Yeah. Grey lipstick is great for role play. Zombie, ghost, vampire. That's a good idea. Um, that is a good idea, actually. Yeah, see what I mean? You never know when you're going to need them. That's why I keep them. <laughs> All right, this one is, oh, actually, I don't know who this is by. I think it's Revolution. I think it is. Anyway, someone made it. So it's called Red Garnet. Um, and it's just, once again, that beautiful red. Look at that kind of dark, classic red. Um, I don't know what happens, but whenever I put my lipstick on, I end up with all lipstick around the side here. I don't know if I'm, I suppose it's, yeah, it's probably because I'm going like that, isn't it? I don't know. But I, every pretty much lipstick that I've got, I have this, mark around the does anyone else have that i'm really paranoid that i am just a complete weirdo and no one else has these things <laughs> um i buy two of everything i have like 15 of the exact same tank top vest in different colors so yeah see oh okay makes me feel good that i'm not the only one i have a bunch of nk lip products nk i've never heard of them i've got myx somewhere but i've never heard of nk they're probably a massive massive company and there's me i don't know who they are <laughs> um what have we got here this is just another nice pinky color 
uh, Shine, Bourgeois, Bourgeois. Thank you very much, uh, Andre Pitts. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is a nice pink. Oh, here we go. See, some of these lipsticks I have used on uh, makeup role plays. So you might be familiar with some of these. I'm sure I've used this one in a video. Sure of it. But as I say, I'm going to be doing an ASMR version of this. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Got some Pound Shop lipsticks here. Pound Shop lipsticks are fun to use because they're only a pound. This is gorgeous. I think this is like black. Is this black? Hold on, what does it say on it? I can't even read the bloody thing. Is it Oslo, is it, maybe? Um, but it's like, oh no, it's not black. It's like really, really, really dark cherry. I thought it was, a, I have got black lipsticks. I haven't found one yet, but yes, yeah, so this is like really, really, really dark. So when I've done my kind of gothic -y, uh role plays, or just for myself, because I like wearing dark lipstick sometimes, these kind of colours are great. I'm sure, I know I've got black lipsticks, but can I find it? Of course I can't. Never find anything when you want it. More red lipsticks in here. This is a weird colour. It's like a, it's a purple, but it's like a, I don't know, I don't know what that is. See what I mean? It's weird. It's like light and dark purple combined um this is from rimmel this is kate moss kate moss has got her makeup stuff this is called retro red retro red <laughs> i really don't know they were popular in my school okay so what's everyone's favorite brand of makeup what is your favorite brand of makeup that you like to use um and what's your favorite lipstick color Get involved, chat with me. I'm going to be on here another like five minutes and I'm going to head off because uh, I've got bits and pieces to do. Also, I've got a premiere tonight on my other channel at like eight o'clock, so I want to get ready for that. Uh, Minx Law 123 ASMR um, is my other channel, so please check it out. And at eight o'clock, there's going to be a premiere. It's uh, a premiere with me and Fam Cam ASMR, who's awesome. Go check his channel out. And we are doing a sassy collab. Uh, it's a sassy coffee shop, the worst rated coffee shop role play. It's really funny. I hope you'll like it. And also relaxing as well. Um, but yeah, go check that out. Eight o'clock tonight premiere on my other channel. Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Hope you are good. Um, so yeah, this is Red Retro. I love looking at the names of lipsticks or any makeup products. I sit and think, hmm, someone has sat and thought about the name. I mean, Red Retro is just like a bit boring, right? But there are some that they have such cool names for the makeup products and stuff. I love it. So yeah, this is just another kind of classic ready. But it's not as red as some of them that I've got. Right, let's get a few more. Uh, I've got a lip liner here that I've not even opened, I don't think. Oh, no, I have opened it. Oh, no, I have. See what I mean? Like, how does it get that messy? It's everywhere. Look, it's all around there. This is a lip crayon, I think. Lip crayon. Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon from Primark. Two pound. It's a bargain. Uh, Makeup Academy. I've got some Makeup Academy stuff here. Another purple. Why have I got so many purples? I didn't realise I had quite as many purples as this. Um, ah, I think this is the black lipstick. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. I think this is one of my favourite colours. Black lipstick is just awesome um i love halloween time because you can just have an excuse to put loads of black lip i mean look to be fair you can wear any color whenever you want obviously but i feel a bit i don't know i feel a bit awkward walking around in like january with like black lipstick on but when it's october it's like yeah, it's fine it's halloween month it's, it's fine uh, but really you can wear any color whenever you want so but yeah black i reckon is just one of my favorite colors this is a makeup academy one and it's so like shiny and dark and the only problem I would say with black lipstick is I always get it a bit of a mess. I always end up with like black over here and there. And it's a really hard color because it's so dark, obviously. The, the you know, like the dark cherries and the blacks and things like that, the dark, dark colors, you've got to get it proper, you know, on the shape of the lips. Otherwise it looks silly. When you're wearing a light color, for example, like this kind of color, and it just goes over a little bit. It's like, that's all right. But when it's really dark, it, it just shows up more. It's the same with like nail polish and stuff. Like if I'm putting nail polish on that's a lighter colour and it goes a bit wrong, it's okay. But when it's like a really dark colour, it just, it looks worse for me. I'm like, oh, stands out more. 
Right, let me show you a couple more. Um, what we've got here. This is Revolution. Is that like a dark brown again? Dark browny colour. I am going to put the green lipstick on for you, by the way. <laughs> at the end, which is going to be soon. Oh, I've got this really nice lip butter here. This is Nivea. Um, coconut butter. A bit of ASMR. <laughs> uh, lip butter coconut uh, from Nivea. And this little tin. Oh, it smells of coconut. Coconut. All right, okay. Let me go one more. What should we pick? This is the one. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is nice, actually. Uh, this is a really light, uh, bright pink. Bright, bright pink. And it is from, I don't know who. I don't know who you are. I think that's, I think that's Essence again from... Um, Oh, no, it might be Collection, actually. Yeah, I think it's Collection. Cupcake Pink, it's called. There we go. Cupcake Pink. So, they are just some of them, but as I say, I've, I've still got all of these. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I mean, it's not been really exciting or anything, but it's just a bit of entertainment for people. I never know what time um, to do streams. I don't know if people prefer them in the morning or the evening or the afternoon or late or early. Or... So I just kind of do them. Oh, kind of do them whenever. And, uh, you know, hopefully someone enjoys, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, some Someone enjoys watching. So it's all good. Yeah, I've always been obsessed with eyeshadow. Yeah, I love um, when you get eyeshadow palettes and they call them all like interesting names and stuff. Um, right, I'm going to stick on this green one for you now, so you can all laugh at me. <laughs> um, you see, yeah, as I say, this is from Essence at Wilkinson's. You probably can get it online as well. Vibrant Shock. Uh, look at this weird nail. Can I just show you? Look at that long nail. All my other nails are short. I know I should cut it because it looks stupid, doesn't it, really? Just this random nail in the middle. But I'm so happy that I've got a long nail and it's quite thick. I don't want to get rid of it. Anyway, <laughs> so let me put this lipstick on. I don't know how it's going to come out because I haven't worn it for ages, so it's probably really dried up now. It might be all right. There we go. It's going on. Subtly. Uh, and I realise why it looks a bit weird. It's because I put that lip oil on as well. Normally it's not as glossy because I've, I've, I've put lip oil on, so I've gone over it. It's really hard with no mirror. I'm using my phone as a kind of guide. So it doesn't come out exactly the same colour, but I mean, you can still see it a bit. This is really weird without a mirror. big spot there nice there we go that'll do <laughs> it's not very good is it but i wouldn't normally wear it with lip oil under it yeah it looks a bit weird actually i don't know if i like it or not what do you think is it weird or is it nice let me know <laughs> teal that's the color i was looking for teal uh, that too is awesome. I'd love metallic two lipstick. Yes, this one was like really cheap, as I say, from uh, Wilkinson's. But yeah, it is pretty green. But as I say, because I've got the lip oil underneath it, it's made it look a bit odd and shiny. And I haven't done it properly. I've missed off my lip. Look. <laughs> it's not even down here. Look, I haven't even put it there. Oh, well. So, um, listen, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend, whatever you're up to. Um, I've been doing some filming today, which is good. So, um probably on the weekend I'm going to do a bit more filming and uh, I, I probably might do another live stream on this channel uh, as I want to do more I want to do more live streams on this channel um, and obviously the other channel so reading I've got some reading to do um, need to get out to get some fresh air even though it's really scary because you know there's more people out and about and that makes me just really anxious because the more people are out 
I just worry that I'm going to catch something from them. Uh, hi, KJ, how are you? But I can't just sit in. I've got, you know, I've got to get some fresh air and and exercise and you know walk about and stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know where we're going to go because there's nowhere to really go. We want to go to the beach, but there's loads of people there, so we can't go there. We want to go in the high street, but all the shops are shut. Uh, <laughs> it's like where are you supposed to go? You just end up walking around the streets. But as long as you're still out and about. It's all good. Oh, yeah, cool. Sleep and ice, ice well, Thank you so much. Uh, be good to see you at the premiere. Hope you enjoy the video. Um, Abigail, thank you so much. I'm pleased you enjoy the uh, shows and stuff. I, I really do um, enjoy doing like live streams. It's, it's, it's fun. I get to chat and hang out with my viewers. So what's not what's not to love about that, right? Um, anyway, I'm going to go now because I look a complete mess. What is happening here to the hair? What? <laughs> it's so weird seeing myself without a fringe I still I, I, I don't like myself without a fringe I'm so used to having my little fringe but it, as you can see it's not going to happen I had a shower and I just let it dry and it's just a bit <laughs> so yeah enjoy the live stream later as I say it's a, a coffee shop sassy coffee shop role play um, fam cam has got his wig on uh, which looks really cool. It's a good wig. It's a good thick, thick head wig he's got. Um, I think I'm wearing a hat. I think, in, yeah, I think I've got my cap on. Uh, I've got my cap here, actually. One of them. This says, okay, bye. <laughs> and a little secret before I go. This is actually a kid's hat. Um, I got it from Primark ages ago, but I love it. And it's <clears throat> a true story that I've got a very small head i know most of you think yeah right but i have got a small head so when i go and buy adult caps they're just too big on my head so i have to get the smaller children's sized hat and have them on like the uh you know the different bit of the end you know the what's it called the back what's the back of the hat called <laughs> what's this called this bit adjustable bit you know what I mean anyway so I have to adjust it but yeah I, I wear kids hats because otherwise the adults ones are too big <sighs> uh, did you watch the Punky Brewster trailer hi LDN actually yes I did thank you for that after that stream that night um of the quiz night I went on to YouTube and I watched it and I was really sad I've got to be honest I thought I'd love it but I just didn't I, I know it's Punky Brewster but she's grown up and she's got like three children and uh, I think she's like a single mum and stuff. I mean, it's a cool idea. And, you know, good luck to her. Is it Solier Moonfry, the actress? But it's not for me. It's just not punky. Punky was like, I don't know, just punky. I think she's trying to be like punky, but the adult version. And for me, it just didn't feel right. It just felt weird. So I don't think I'm going to be watching it. Um, I mean, maybe I'll give the first episode a go. I shouldn't knock it till I try it. I mean, we might not get, even get it in the UK. I don't know. Um it was yeah it was just weird it wasn't the same and like they had her dressed up in a dungarees and odd colored shoes like she wore as a kid and i was thinking oh this looks really weird it doesn't doesn't feel right um but anyone who remembers punky brewster she she was actually my idol growing up like i literally based my whole self on her <laughs> it's really sad isn't it it's true though her character the look of her the fashion wearing different like bright colored clothes I even now still wear odd coloured socks. Uh, sometimes Nathan will go, oh, you got the wrong colour socks on. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Because it's Punky Brewster did that. She used to wear like different colour socks. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Um, but she, she was a little girl and she was uh, orphaned. And uh, this guy found her and they become friends and he adopted her and stuff. And it was actually the guy who used to be in Police Academy. I can't remember his name. Really famous actor. But I've gone blank. But anyway... Uh, so he adopted her and she went to live with him and uh, she had a little dog as well. And her friends lived next door, little Cherry. It was it was an amazing show and she had such character in it and I, I just idolised her. Um, but yeah, they're making like a reboot of her grown up and stuff. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not supposed to be talking about Punky Brewster. Have a great weekend. And if I do a live stream, come watch. Make sure you've got the notification bell smashed. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just rambling so much. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget Twitter at MixLaura123 and Instagram MixLaura123. Come follow me. Subscribe to my channels.
I really appreciate it. And take care of yourself. Stay safe. All right, everyone. Take care. See you soon.